Hey everybody, yeah, we're recording. Welcome back. Northern Lion plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, random run. We got two wins. It's our largest streak in like three days. Oh, Azazel. 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 Yeah! Okay. Look, I don't want to celebrate on a run that's probably a little bit too easy. ZYJL X36C. But you know, for every reaction, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This uh, applies in physics. Uh, as it applies in Isaac. We randomed the loss last time. We're gonna random Azazel this time. I should point out, by the way, I, I wasn't just like completely psychic. I saw the way that it was looking there. I saw the writing on the wall with how much it was slowing down, and I was like, it's probably Samson or Azazel. And uh, I am... I'm happy that we were right there. Now, it is still possible to lose an Azazel run, so, you know, I should really temper my enthusiasm. Until we make sure that we're totally fine. Demon Baby's actually kind of a nice help, actually. As is that if it pays out with something useful. And honestly, that's pretty useful. Even if it's not the, the spirit heart or the small rock that I was hoping for. Uh, it, it's helpful. I can at least live with it. But we've got to be uh, very smart about not taking damage here early until we build an HP base. Which is something that you would expect to be relatively likely when playing as Azazel and, and you know, getting deals with the devil, basically. I, would, I wouldn't mind getting an early Pandora's box. It can be a, a, an interesting play. Especially if you hold it until maybe the caves. But uh, I think we're going to say no to it for now and just try to focus on, you know, survival and, and thriving here. Um, we should have no problem going as fast as we need to on this run. So what it comes down to is, is really exploring, like, every area we want to explore. Oh, get, get some pots with that explosive diarrhea. That is actually pretty solid. We got six cents out of that. Um, no tinted rock in here. We got two bombs. Of course, there's three possible locations for a second secret room. A little annoying. We'll try. We'll try all of them. Well, all the ones we can. Didn't work out. That's okay. Life goes on. Uh, we got starting HP. Basically, seven cents, two keys. It's a good position for the next floor. And the pin fight. Nothing to sneeze at either. Should be able to finish this in three or four passes. Might get lucky and get him here. Thank you, and wooden spoon for some more speed. Not strictly necessary, but I'll take it. I know some people don't like watching Azazel runs. And, you know, to be honest with you, I don't always like playing Azazel runs. Like, sometimes I'm, I, I do Azazel runs a lot on the on the NLSS, because I usually finish, and this is not meant to be a slight to Nick, but I usually finish an Isaac run like 20 minutes before Nick, and 20 minutes is like the perfect amount of time to do an Azazel run. That's not particularly good. Um... What do we have? The, we have the Fool, and I actually forgot the lover, the other card, and then I said it! My subconscious knew it's the Lover's card. Okay, well, we can't really do much for that right now, but perhaps in the future. Ah, I thought we might get lucky there. Um, so, I'm, I'm fairly well practiced with Azazel. Lose with him occasionally, but mo lo bleh, mostly that's a result of, uh, of being an idiot and, and rushing way more than I should, so... Hopefully, you know, it, it's probably smart to just settle it down a little bit, you know, say, hey, we're fine, we got nothing to worry about right now, just just play it cool. Relax yourself and check low. Wait, relax your love and let the sugar love flow? There's a lot of love in that song, I can't remember. It's Camp Low. Widow, okay, well, another good fight here. What we're hoping for is not even really a, a deal with the devil. We're gonna get one, but it's mostly just a decent item from our boss. And it's a meat pickup, which is great if there's a one heart deal, which there is. And then we get a free item. Of course, it's Guppy's head. Uh, we'll take left. Contact, contract from below is fine. We're a little bit low on HP, of course. I'd, I'd rather have more, but when would you not most of the time? Extra black heart for free solves that problem to some extent. And then another golden chest instead of spirit hearts games keeping me on my toes and you know what I can respect that I appreciate that that's enough money to at least consider making our shop worthwhile we're making good time here we're only at three minutes we're making great time here um, obviously we have an arcade we got a lover's card we can't do anything with because I got rid of meat or I got rid of the HP for meat sticking with that plus point three damage upgrade and you can't stop me mom Right, why would I come in here? We don't necessarily want anything in here, but I'll try. It's a lot of money, actually. The compass! Oh, that's a, like, really good pickup! I'm very excited about that. That worked out really well for us. And we actually have a mini-boss as well. It would be awesome if this was HP. It's not, but it could still be a tarot card that's useful. 
Devil. Probably beats the Fool card, but I, I gotta say, I'm gonna stick with the Fool card, uh, because, as is Azel, it's the ultimate scum mode. Like, you might as well just embrace it. We're gonna try to scam Boss Rush, and it's very, very likely that we make that happen. Really shouldn't have done that there. It could have been Paralysis. Luck up. Pheromones. Health up. Oh, it's beautiful. Now, if we get the opportunity to, I would love to take that other deal with the Devil now. I don't think it's gonna be possible, but it could still be open. No. Alright. That's fine. We got more deal with the Devil fodder in the future. We can keep our spirit hearts protected. They're probably a little bit more valuable for us right now anyway. Hmm. There is a dice room. Uh, I normally do find my... Oh, so stupid. I do find myself feeling okay using a dice room as a Zazel, because you usually still stick with the brimstone. It's not like it turns you like into Peter Parker when you used to be Spider-Man. Like, it's pretty... Okay, most of the time. Some of the, it depends. If you get it like a transforming tier effect, it'll change it. Like, uh, like Epic Fetus will change it. But we don't have enough items to really be like, oh, Epic Fetus is likely. Check this out. Half a Spirit Heart to pick up a full Spirit Heart. Check this out. Um, oh, it's a library with a little key beggar attached to it, huh? I like Guppy's head. I like it a lot, but. I think we have to admit that Satanic Bible is probably better for our purposes here. And don't, you know, quit on this Azazel run. Just yet. You can get some cool Azazel synergies. People don't give Azazel enough credit for being, like, a, a cool character at times. Look, I'll admit that he's also by far the easiest character in the game. But that's a nice little counterbalance for the Lost. And, you know, I'm not gonna feel bad about getting an Azazel run when we also had a Lost run very, very recently. I'm gonna try not to feel bad about it, and I'm succeeding as we speak. Okay. Because I like you, and because we're Azazel, I'm gonna use my... Okay, well, now it doesn't matter, but we'll, we'll check this out. I was gonna use my two keys to go to this room first. Four rerolls pedestals, which can be great, actually, if we uh, don't like what's in our item room. And we don't like what's in our item room, really. Sweet luck up pill as well. Uh, we can just come over here, use this, and it's perhaps not the fully ideal uh, usage of it. That'll reroll our library as well, so we should probably get back there. Uh, <laughs> not thrilled with the items that we picked up there, but it's it's something. Um, I shouldn't leave that up. As long as we're out of here by ten minutes, we're fine, and we're gonna be out of here by ten minutes. Uh, Book of Secrets might show our secret rooms. Book of Shadows. Uh, it's good. But I think Satanic Bible is more useful for us. I think it gave us the Compass Effect Book of Secrets that time, which is not super meaningful. Well, maybe we'll get a Perthrow rune or something, but as is, at least we got five bombs out of, uh, well, was it worth five bombs to not take? We'll probably get that, because we have no other trinket. And because it's uh, potentially pretty decent, at least. But um, with, is five bombs worth losing out on Charm of the Vampire? I don't like Charm of the Vampire, but I can't deny that sometimes it's useful. Yeah, there's no blood bank probably, so we're fine with that. And yeah, BFF, man. I'm, I I really am abusing the crap out of my donation machine. I'll be the first to admit, but hey, that's sort of what it's here for. Imagine how much I could have abused it if I hadn't blown it up accidentally like an idiot earlier. Oh well, life goes on. May or may not get a deal with the devil here, but we'll definitely have the the fuel necessary to take advantage of it one way or the other. Oh. I really would have benefited from taking them out earlier. Uh, I really wish, actually, that you would just hit me. Like, now I don't want to get hit. But if you had hit me early, we would have lost that half black heart. Perfect. Just in time to illustrate what I was talking about. I appreciate that. All right. Chubb. At least it's not Chad. It's fast Chubb as well. But I think we're a little faster. And that makes our life Insanely easy here. Jesus juice for uh, uh, you know a range up as a uh, as a Zazel is something that I can live with. It only affects us very mildly, but it's something something we didn't have earlier. Do we have a curse here? No, no curse. That's a nice change of pace. Almost walked right into the fire there. Sometimes you can forgive damage. A lot of times you can't. I'm just realizing now that that's another library up there. Um, I, I think I might as well use a key to go check that out. What are we at time-wise? We're doing fine. Um, that's kind of ridiculous to have two libraries. We never get that when we have the D6 anymore. 
I try, but it just doesn't work out. I try to roll some books and I choke. I'm trying to walk away and I stumble. Try to fly away and I stumble. That's all right. It wasn't very good to begin with. Um, I think we get rid of Satanic Bible and we take uh, Book of Belial with us here. Bit of a risk uh, reward play. Worse defensively, much better offensively, and of course the, you know, the tilt factor is the deal with the devil access that we're going to be able to guarantee now, which is going to be hopefully very beneficial for us. Let's keep in mind we have one guppy item as well, so the guppy uh, dream is in play. Especially with every floor giving us a deal with the devil now. Nearsighted friend is pretty terrible, but we don't have a choice. Let's hope our secret room is a... Uh, nope. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, let's hope our secret room is adjacent to our boss room, but that is clearly not going to happen. It's the second run in a row where we've had BFF and uh, Nearsighted Friend, and I'm still not, you know, really loving it. Maybe one day you can convince me. I doubt it, though. Now, what are we hoping for? Black candle pickup so we don't get uh, Curse of the Blind on the floor where we're going to cheese the shit out of the boss rush room. Probably that is a, an adequate get for us. Nothing there. Uh, careful about this. And this. Plenty of keys. Okay. I still don't really want to go to our shop, but, you know, we do have enough keys to make it work. Not quite enough money yet, but, you know, Contract from Below is doing its best to make that happen. Oh, double gurglings fight with Azazel and Book of Belial. Sometimes life is good. I almost feel bad here. The keyword being almost. For the number of lost runs you guys have ruined. Oh. For those about to rock. We salute you. That's not very good. Okay. Uh, well, I don't really care what we get here. So just give me whatever I don't want next time. All right. I mean, what do you say? Krampus's head is fine. This caves too. Uh... It's, it's just not as good as Book of Belial. I mean, that's, I hope, relatively obvious. Nearsighted Friend just killed that guy. I mean, we did most of the damage, but still, man, I didn't do anything at the end there. Uh, I think we just leave right now. Check quickly for the second secret room, which should be here. I think Judas's tongue is way better for us with uh, Book of Belial. But yeah, we'll head down to the next floor. Um, there was nothing really for us on that floor unless we were going to find a blood bank. I don't think we came down there with enough money to spawn it, though. So I don't think the odds of that were particularly strong. Big thing for us right now is obvious, I hope. Don't take damage. You know, we, we've got bombs. We can blow up skulls. We can get stuff. Uh, that's not any good. Um, we can get stuff, but uh, it's in our best interest to just not take damage. Oh, here we go. All important Skype message. Let's see what we got going on right here. Uh, I am recording, but I'll be back in 15 minutes. Uh, well, okay, 25 minutes. Let's make sure that message sends. That's a very important person. I don't want to insult them. It might be something rebirth related. Um, and plus, we got to get a little, you know, this is a tool assisted speedrun now because we slowed the game down a little bit to make sure that we uh, could pick up those keys and get a frame advantage. I think it's picking up steam. It's picking up steam. It's not picking up steam. We got two spirit hearts there. That's ridiculous. Yo, close. Close your shit. Come on, don't do me dirty like this. This is a good run. There we go. We're back. Okay. Something about this game, man. This is something about th this game. Combined with that voice over IP service. That's alright. I, again, I, I kind of think it lends some character to it. Maybe, maybe not. Hopefully, yeah, that's exactly what I was hoping for. A, an easy trip to our item room. We had kind of a weird uh, geography leading up to it, but actually looks like it's going to be fine now. That's not it. Oh, you were hiding behind, you know, one of your inanimate brethren there. I don't know if you're actually brothers. That was, you know, potentially insulting, and I apologize for it. Ten extra bombs. At this point, I'm like, why did I even go down that way? But so be it. Uh, we're going to be fine. Want to be out of here within the next five minutes or so to make sure we don't squander this fool card. Man, what's up with these uh, golden chests? I'm not complaining that much, but, like, the tinted rocks are not paying out with what you expect tinted rocks to pay out with. Could have looked for some spirit hearts in those uh, blue fires. In actuality, it's probably a pretty good decision. 
Why am I not doing it then? Oh, okay, I'm actually glad that that worked out the way it did. This is usually a secret room template. Just eventually I've, I've started to recognize them a little bit better, I think. Could be bad pills, but magic mush, magic mush, no. Full health, eh. Speed down, real bad. Uh, Liberty Cap, not as good as Judas's Shadow, or Judas's Tongue, sorry. It's definitely not as good as Judas's Shadow, that's for sure true. Sounds like a French color. Oh, it's uh, served in a light for sure true sauce. Served in a light blue sauce! <laughs> Loses a little bit of that. Um, you know, we don't want blue candles, so there's nothing really for us in there. Plenty of consumables, a little low on keys, but... Not not to the point where we'd probably be worried about buying one at this point. And with 18 bombs, I think it only makes sense to try to take a crack at a second secret room. Could it still be there? Especially if we just picked up four bombs right here. No? Um, here then. Yes. Probably worth it. Alright, let's go fight this boss. This is a good deal with the devil, hopefully. Don't forget to use Book of Belial. Might make it so you can kill him in like three hits. I think his own uh, eyes blocked him from jumping into a position that would have been really bad for me to have him jump in. So I appreciate that a lot. And there's our magic mushroom pickup. No wonder we didn't get it from the actual mushrooms. And we got to take both of these. Uh, because the Whore of Babylon pickup will work on our next deal with the devil. And Headless Baby's Headless Baby. You know, when you can fly, you can make some good use of Headless Baby. Um, let's go put ourselves in the Whore of Babylon state. And this is our, uh... This is our floor. For boss rush, if we want to do it. If they were red chests, I'd go for them. For right now, you know, I can't be persuaded that easily to open a golden chest. Little bit low on keys. Although a Tammy's head pickup would make me rethink that pretty easily. Just head this way, because I think that this way is going to be not the way to the boss. And we want to make sure we, we cover everything on this floor. It might actually be the way to the boss now that I look at it, but... This is relatively textbook for an Azazel run, honestly. We got, uh... Really, really good damage. Got lucky with our spacebar item selections a couple of times. And we're almost unkillable as a result of, like, all those effects working well together, so... I'm feeling extremely confident. I don't know if this is losable. I'm happy that we'll be able to go back, uh... You know, probably with a three streak to our Eden run. It's basically completing one full cycle. Yeah, I was I had dreams of Tammy's head bouncing around on my noggin there. Don't take the red hearts, man. Those are the devil's candy. Skulls? Nothing. All right. Uh, I can't believe that our item room and our shop are in such close proximity to one another. I, I thought this level would look a lot different. Interesting. Oh, there's a weird little loop in here. Yeah, that doesn't happen all that often. Still discovering, like, every once in a while, maybe like once every 10 runs or 20 runs, I'll be like, man, that's a room that I don't think I've ever seen before. This is a layout that strikes me as a little unusual as well. It's neat that, you know, with procedural generation, you can still see stuff like that this late into, well, not late necessarily, but this long into, uh, into playtime. Might as well. And you know what? We gotta donate a little bit of money here. We keep taking money from our donation machine. We had it up to like 300 or th maybe even 400. And then I just beat it back down. Repeatedly over the course of like a month. I was not being very nice to it. Dead Sea Scrolls, man. That is like super not worth it. Alright. Let's do this. We should be able to kill the boss very easily. And then check out our devil room for hopefully... Uh, Maybe some guppy items, and then uh, we'll check out our uh, boss room and take the best item and run away, because we don't have Curse of the Blind. Why not use Book of Belial here? Just in case we want to fight. Like, we get such a good item on the boss rush that we actually want to fight for it. Guppy, guppy, guppy. Wow. It happens more often than I like to admit, but that is disappointing nonetheless. Hmm... None of these are particularly good enough to fight, like, the whole room. So I'm just going to teleport out. But I took a Mysterious Liquid. It may or may not actually generate the creep. But I hope it generates the creep. 
for the enemies to walk on, of course. Uh, the only other choice that I really thought was applicable there was um, Fire Mind, but Fire Mind with low range is a recipe for hurting myself a lot, so a pretty disappointing boss rush, but hey, it is what it is, you know? Well, let's go down to the next floor now, and we're only 20 minutes into the video, and we're making really, really good time, and we have the compass, so you would expect that to continue. We do have a curse room. Not fully uh, super interested in that. I think Mysterious Liquid comes with like a point zero two damage upgrade as well, so it's not a huge loss. That's not a red chest. We're gonna go to the left here. Not as interested in the curse room as I am in the uh, the boss room, and I will, especially if we have more keys. I'm planning on going to the dice room because I would re-roll this run. The odds of us re-rolling it into a non-Azazel run are low, and I'm confident that we could probably win pretty much any Azazel run with. Like, not seriously rolling like 10 ones in a row. Ah, uh, there we go. I, I ruined uh, Whore of Babylon completely accidentally there while picking up a small rock. But we should have a deal with the devil here. We'll take it no matter what it is in order to swing that. It's a one room. Now we have Epic Fetus. It ruined our Azazel run! You dicks! That's kind of funny, though. It's like that <laughs> that awful Eden run where I was like, Hey, yeah, okay, you've given me shit all game. Now just give me freaking uh, holy water and it'll all be forgiven. And then they gave me holy water in the angel room and I just left. That's how my life feels right now. But, I mean, it's still good. Like, Epic Fetus is still a win. I'm just disappointed that it made our Azazel run into something uh, completely different. But, hey, we got some spiders out of it. Uh, we have Infestation 2, Epic Fetus. That's... Like, not even fair to the other players. Like, at least make it fair to the game. I'm just trying to maintain some fairness here. Oh, we have the Relic as well. So it's like straight up one of the most overpowered runs of all time. Don't get mad at me, though. You live by the sword, you die by the fucking sword. Whenever I skip a reroll room, people are always like, No balls! You got no balls! And I do want to get a bad reroll completely independent of my own volition. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. And then people are like, Oh, way, way to go, scum lord. I got no control over this shit. And you know what? I'm glad I don't. Oh, come on. I don't want to compromise the, the nature of the random. Oh, you, you scum! We got Sacrificial Dagger again, which I think is hilarious as well. Come on. I don't know what, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Not a very smart uh, turn of events, I think is fair to say there. Um, let's check out our Cursed Room. Might as well. We're already down here. I was going to take damage on the way out anyway, so I'm not too bent out of shape there. Um, yeah, you're going to definitely explode. And then, we're yeah, we're going to leave this way because we don't want to do that room again. Nobody likes that room. And we're going to go pick up that spirit art and that key. This is a really amazing situation to find ourselves in. I think somewhat obviously. We're pretty lucky to be fighting It Lives, actually, uh, so early. We If we didn't find that secret room... Wait, how did we find that secret room? We don't have any mapping. Oh, we must have, like, Spelunker's hat. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, up to the cathedral. Oh, no! I skipped the womb to deal with the devil! On one challenge in the game, that actually has an item in it. Sorry, I shouldn't be so salty. I'm just sick of hearing it, man. Well, you know, the deal with the devil actually does, Northern Lion, occasionally contain an item, and by occasionally I mean literally on, like, a challenge where you're supposed to get down to Satan, then you can take advantage of it. I'm like, okay, well, you're right, but at the same time, that, that doesn't mean I should open the deal with the devil on, on the, you know, normal non-challenge runs here. It doesn't do anything for us. There's no words on it. Okay, I got... My brain broke there temporarily as Curse of the Maze uh, ravaged me. No, don't go anywhere. Thank God we got more bombs. Like, that's why I didn't pick up Anarchist Cookbook. At first I was like, why wouldn't I? I don't have any items. Like, any spacebar item. Then I was like, why would I? I summon bombs from my soul to kill enemies. Wow, nice shot there, uh, Bob's brain. Then I hit myself uh, a little bit, but let's just ignore that. And there's our boss fight, man. This is good. We have an extra life, too, and I hate that I have to pay attention to that, because I've taken some not-so-fantastic damage. Um, I wonder what it is. I mean, we could check, but where's the fun in that? Come on, come on. 
It's not our ideal room to fight before a boss. We'd rather have a lot of enemies so we can get a nice little spider army. We really should not die. There is just the off chance it can happen. Unlike a technology or brimstone run, we can hit the enemy no matter where we're standing. Uh, we can also apparently make its shots travel a lot faster, which sucks pretty bad. Daddy Longlegs also, I forgot to, well, I neglected to mention it. Daddy Longlegs is a killer item. I'm so happy to have it. So nice of you to join us, Daddy Longlegs. DDL. Daddy Dong Long. That was creepier than I expected. And I was expecting something a little on the creepy side, so that's a little impressive, you know? There we go. Very easy fight. Let's head down to the next floor. I don't know what I'm hoping for here. Well, lots of question marks, apparently. Ghost Baby, it sucks. Blood of the Martyr, it's good. Robo Baby, it sucks. Roid Rage, uh, we could use a speed upgrade, honestly. So I'm not going to complain about that. This should be a one run. It's a weird one. But hey, man. I'm happy that we had a run where, like, as a Zazel, we had some not just kill every enemy instantly with Brimstone type shit go down, you know? Card Against Humanity I don't like very much. We might as well do our due diligence there. We're pretty fast. Um, yeah, it's, it's cool that we were able to mix it up a little bit. Just a little bit, but yeah, you know, that reroll room. If you don't take a reroll room as a Zazel, like... I, I, there's probably been situations where I've done it. If you're in a semi-comfortable position and you don't take a reroll room as a Zazel, it's like, get over yourself. You, you take yourself too seriously. And it's not fair to infer a kind of character judgment based on something as simple and as trivial as that, but... You're gonna be a Zazel anyway. You're still gonna have the ability to fly. You're, like, 90% odds to still have the Brimstone Laser. I know this didn't do a great job of exemplifying that. However, um... It's the truth. We just got one of the, like, six items in the game that overrides the Azazel Brimstone. And those items are good. You might get regular Brimstone. You might get, uh... Epic Fetus. You might get Doctor Fetus. That's, like, your, your end game shit scenario. That's not that bad. Uh, uh... Well, you know what? We got, uh... Oh, we got Blood of the Martyr. For some reason, I thought we had Bloody Lust. Maybe we did. I mean, that was an awful lot of damage we just did in one shot right there. Chubb didn't die that quickly. Lovers, Justice, mm, do the T-A-R-O-T-C-A-R-D, please. That was surprisingly hard to spell. In the moments. Okay, I mean, I'm not a French dance music producer, so cut me some slack. You're still alive there, huh? Okay, something here? No, something here? There we go. One of these days, I'll get that sorted out. Can I just, like, go back? I don't want to do this room anymore. It's not that bad. It's just kind of a... Just kind of wasting my precious time. Don't think twice. It's all right. I don't want anything to do with this. Either. All I want anything to do with is, like, freaking non-dead ends. And you're giving me exclusively dead ants. Dead ant. Dead end. Dead end. Dead end. Dead end. Dead end. Oh, this is uh, actually a great room. I think we gotcha, we gotcha. Nothing here. Maybe one shot the Loki, maybe two shot the Loki, maybe um, up jump the boogie. Maybe ball with the ball, the dang the dang dicky, put your stick in the jimmy and up jump the boogie. I don't remember how the song goes. Don't put your stick in the jimmy unless you and Jimmy have had a long conversation about how you feel about where you're at in your relationship and your expectations. Yeah, okay, good idea. I'll just line up the Epic Fetus shot and then stand next to it with Sacrificial Dagger. What could possibly go wrong? And of course, you know, with a lot of damage, we now have the run where we exclusively go in exactly the wrong direction. It's alright, I can live with it. I can't believe we've had Sacrificial Dagger so many times in a row. I'm very happy about this, this revelation, but... I almost did it again. The Sacrificial Dagger psychosis has taken full effect. We'll go back to that. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go pick that up. And you know what? We probably can do some bullshit, like just popping down Epic Fetus and then standing next to him with... Uh, okay, let's not do that. That seems like a colossal waste of our live life. We're done. Interesting run for an Azazel run. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.